Welcome to Talking Beards, an entertainment news podcast all about the facial hair lifestyle and the people who use their beards and mustaches to help change the world. Join your hosts, World Goatee Champion Aaron D. Johnston and two-time National Goatee Champion Scott Sakura as they talk about all the important issues in the community from charity events, competition news, styling tips, breaking news, and much more. Tune in every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern as we stream live on all social media platforms as well as TalkingBeards.com and answer all of your questions. Join in our chat room and be a part of the show each week as we give away great prizes, compliments of Honest Amish. I am your host, Aaron D. Johnston, and I am Scott Sakura, and we are Talking Beards. Oh, hey, everybody. What's going on? Hey. Hey, we got Kyle Waller. So, What's uh, Scott Sakura? Okay. Oh, I I'm mean, the- we have this is I'm Aaron D. Johnson. And this is Scott Sakura, and uh, yeah, we're talking beards tonight. Uh, is episode number three oh five? We have Mister Matty Patty himself from uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee. He will be helping put on Beard a Nuga. Uh, that will be coming up September 2nd at the White Lightning Harley Davidson dealer there in Chattanooga. We will dive deep into that event here momentarily. But first, let's, uh, oh, here we go, introduce our, our co host. <laughs> 2017. Uh, Scott had to go away. So we got 2017. Kyle Waller on the show. <laughs> hey, what's up? Thanks for what? having me, by the way. I was, uh, I feel like. I have some big shoes to follow with with Scott Sakura, you know. I think it's only like a like a size ten and a half. You should be fine. All right, okay. So you, he you actually has like small a, feet like, compared to me. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> you're like an eleven, eleven and a half guy. So you're fine. Yeah, that's yeah, correct. Tiny yes, tiny shoes, tiny shoes. But what's up, <laughs> Kyle Waller? You uh, you're nothing much in for for Scott Sakura, who uh, is I am. Earth, I think he's at an Earth, Wind, and Fire concert tonight. Ooh. I think that's not a lie. There you I go. Think that's actual fact. I think that's real. I'm pretty sure that's what he said. <laughs> but uh, you you have a that's hot awesome. New, you have a hot new podcast. The I Shade do. Podcast. Yes. Uh, tell everybody where to find that real quick. So you can uh, you can find Shape the podcast uh, stands for Sharing Hope and Positive Energy. You can find it on Facebook um, every other Friday night um, at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And what's up, Joshua? Um, so yeah, just look up shape the podcast on Facebook, um, and come join us. Uh, yeah, next episode is this Friday at at seven o'clock Eastern Standard Time, uh, because my guest has to go to work right after the podcast. So, but it, um, but it usually comes have, on eight o'clock Eastern. So eight o'clock Eastern, yes. New time, new special episode this this Friday. Yeah, this Friday, but then every other Friday after that will be at eight p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Nice. Well, thank yeah. you, Kyle, for uh, standing oh, in man. tonight. You know, I, I just, I just thank feel you. so naked without having some sort of <laughs> like. I don't like. I could do it on my own. I've done it on my own. It's just, yeah. I just feel completely naked without someone to bounce back and forth with, and and you're you're it. I, 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 I can tell you, I can tell you from from the first time I did my podcast. That's the reason why I had Ray on is because I just couldn't do it by mm-hmm. myself. I know? get it. So. I understand what you're saying completely. But so, Aaron. Uh, doing it. Go ahead. What's so, up? So, you know, normally you talk about what you did over the weekend. So this past weekend, what you guys get into? Add that, uh, yeah. So this last week, well, this last week we were in Pennsylvania and uh, we were at the office all week. And then I guess nice. Friday we traveled to Owensboro, Kentucky, where Natalie graduated high school a, a couple years ago. And uh, <laughs> she... Uh, yeah, so she she was the 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 talk of the town as soon as we walked into her high school reunion, and it's the past two we've been to uh, have definitely been the the same way. She uh, she everybody definitely watches her and all of her beard travels and stuff, and, nice. and it's pretty cool seeing all like the the head cheerleaders and all the super popular people like <laughs> coming over and talking to Natalie. And, you know, you know damn well them girls probably wasn't friends in school, but now they're you know no. adults and now they're they're all buddies and stuff, and that's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, nice. man, it, it was a good event. It, it it was you know not my school, not my town, but <laughs> but they knew who I was, so that's weird. <laughs> but it was fun. Well, you know, I mean, uh, you're you're guilty by association. You know? Yeah, isn't, isn't that what they say, Natalie? And 
And they yeah. all know Natalie, so they just, you know, I think I stand out. It's probably the beard. That would be my assumption. It it could be, yeah. yes. That guy Because I noticed there was only one guy that had a beard in in the pictures that, that you posted on there. What, are you stalking there our pictures? Only, I did. I did stalk them <laughs> to look at them, yes. It and was and cool, to see man. if there were any other. Yeah. It looked like a great time. It was a good time. So they so they did a prom theme, and so they wanted it to be in a gymnasium. Well, since they were you know were all adults and most of you know most of us drink alcohol, they couldn't have it mm-hmm. at the school. They couldn't do it at any schools, but they were like dead set on wanting to do it in a gym. So they found this uh, not necessarily abandoned, but it, a closed elementary school like outside of town. 20 miles that they had turned into like an antique mall. So every classroom was a different like antique store essentially. And then the, the gymnasium was just an event center. And then, so the whole time we're just Mm. in there, we're like, this would make a great place for a beer. (laughs) We're just, that's our our brains are are screwed. (laughs) So, so what you're saying is that there's going to be an upcoming brick competition at a gymnasium. Yeah, maybe. What's your phone doing? <laughs> you know, you I'm sorry. It, I was having technical difficulties with my phone. Yes. Well, you right. know, Jeff Harris says, Jeff Harris says, uh, oh, yeah. You know, back in high school, when he was back in high school, they hated him. But now everybody loves Jeff Harris. Everybody loves Jeff Harris. It's probably because you, you're just yeah. so tiny, Jeff Harris. And it just reminds everybody yes. of like a kindergartner. <laughs> oh yeah forgot about the I comments mean, this is usually like not my job geez. but i know it's normally scott's and I, I don't know how to do that on my end sorry you so know that's why i just pulled time, them up so i could see them the whole time kyle we were sitting here i could have logged you in and you could have been like able to do that's this okay. but the thought never even crossed my mind so anyway so i, I was i don't even do it i don't even i don't even do it on my own podcast because that's not i don't want the focus to be about the comments well, okay. see, What's Natalie up? used to do our comments, but then like Natalie would click yes. on them, and then Scott would click on them, and I would click on them, and then it just got to the point yes. that she just quit. too much clicking. Yeah, yeah. it was just yeah. comments were just doing this the whole show. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, so those of you who comment tonight, we apologize if you don't see them. Hey, you we're going to give it a shot. On. We're going to okay. give it a shot, yeah. and you know, you know what else we do at the top of the show? Kyle Waller almost forgot this. Oh, use if it. you go over to honestamish.com, you can use promo code talking beards and you can save 15% off your order, Kyle Waller. And if you order any uh, amount over $35 within the continental United States, you will also get free shipping. So that's a pretty good deal. That's well, pretty good. I have to tell you something. What? I, I'm using Honest Amish right now. Oh my gosh. I am yeah. too. What did yeah. what did you use today? Um, so, you know, from from the Indiana comp, the, the prize pack that came with it, I'm using the oil that that was part of that prize pack. It's nice. I'm using the original. But yes, oh, no contrary quiet. to belief, I use white oak beard supply normally, but I do like honest Amish. So, hey man, it's it's uh, tried and true, and it's it is it it's great. Be in everybody's beard arsenal when yes. you're when you're rotating products, but I'm I'm yeah. just doing pure today pure oil pure bomb and uh no soap because i didn't take a shower today but i could smell tomorrow. you a little bit i didn't want to say anything you know tomorrow <laughs> tomorrow i'll tomorrow. take a shower yes every other day it's well happens. usually it's every day but today was just you know it just didn't happen today it just didn't happen but tomorrow <laughs> i bring that up kind of uh, a little bit we'll we'll be on the morning mix again uh, Ooh. tomorrow. So we'll, we'll be back nice. on TV in the morning at 9 a.m. This time, uh, hopefully I have a, a healthy Natalie with me. And there you go. The, 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 uh, the point of this visit will be for her to mainly talk about her kidney. So nice. we, uh, I've already sent the link to the, the kidney transplant stuff over there and they're going to pop it up during the show. And they're going to share it on social media and all that good stuff. So, you know, hopefully they get bombarded with a bunch of requests for for kidneys tomorrow. Yeah, that that'd be awesome. So I'll, you were gonna you were gonna ask me how my weekend was. I was. Well, we just I, never got there. But yeah, I how was tell your weekend, you, Kyle Waller? Uh, the, the weekend was good. I, I had a day date with my wife on Saturday. Um, you know, we like like I said earlier in the show, 
even though we're married and we live together, you know, we never really spend time together that much because we're always so busy. Um, so over the weekend, we, we had a day date, went around to uh, different parts of Cincinnati. And then Sunday, we were both sick. What? Yay. Oh, yeah. It was terrible. Um, I'm, I'm dealing with some sinus stuff right now. And so I was in bed all day Sunday. Oh, like my from, God. You super yeah. got sick. Yeah, I was in bed uh, and super getting sick, actually. Like, you know. Right. Yeah. Um, and, you know, the wife, she had a temperature and she was dealing with it all. But, yeah, it's just that time of year. But yeah, yeah, we were both we were both sick over the weekend. We were both sick on Sunday. So, but you feel better today? Yeah, you know, I got I got drugs on me. Got some Mucinex and all that good yeah. stuff. Yeah, knock it and, out. And, and, and I'm here. You so. are here, and I appreciate <laughs> you being here, yeah. Kyle Wallace. Oh man, what uh, what all did y'all do in Cincinnati? So you go, uh, see, you go see that big giant uh, rubber duck that's on top of that building. I randomly, I've I've seen that rubber duck uh, going into like the Florence area. Like yeah. when you're going into Northern Kentucky, um, it, it's actually pronounced Florence, y'all. Florence, y'all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I've seen it. Oh, um, I'm Scott Sakura, Brad. Yeah. Well, what are you talking about, uh, Brad? He's right there. Uh, um, he has a full beard now. I mean, hello, look yeah. at me. He's wearing headphones. That's probably why you couldn't recognize him. <sighs> yes, that's it. Scott, yeah. Scott's at Earth, Wind, and Fire. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's at Earth, Wind, and Fire. What what he hasn't told everybody is that he's an actual background singer for Earth, Wind, and Fire. So Scott's that's where, fire. Yeah, Scott is fire. You, no one ever knew until just now. Breaking news. Breaking news. Scott's fire. Scott Sakura is fire. Yes. In Earth, Wind, and Fire. <laughs> <laughs> but wow. no, we uh we went to uh, an area called Hyde Park. Okay. Um, and in, in Cincinnati, my wife crochets. Um, just like a couple of people do in the bidding committee. And there was a, a nice little yarn store that she wanted to visit down there. Um, so we went and had lunch at a place called um, Agave and Rye. And then she went to the, the yarn store and I went to a, um, a shirt store called Cincy Shirts, where they have like every shirt you can imagine based on something in Cincinnati. Okay. So, and then we just drove around. And, did you get a uh, yeah. precious big boy shirt? Um, I did. Yes, it's actually in the laundry. Are you serious? Yes, <laughs> yes. So they, so they have of all the things that was yes. so random. Yes, yes. So, so they have they have mystery bags where you pay ten dollars and you pick a bag out and whatever shirts in that bag, that's what you get. Nice. Well, my first shirt was a precious a big boy shirt. All right, and then my my wife got one. Um, that has Mike Tyson on the front of it, wearing a Reds cap, and it says, "Win it for Cincinnati." <laughs> <laughs> so, so I, so she's like, she got so, so she's like, I don't know what Mike Tyson has to do with Cincinnati. So I had to look up what Mike Tyson had to do with Ohio, and, okay. and then yeah, he's, explain he's to her. A, he's got a house he, up there by Charlton. He, he has a mansion. Yes. Yeah. Well, Scott Sakura has cleaned the windows of it. No, no longer a mansion. It is now a church. It is it not a church, yes. but I'm I'm ninety eight percent. This is this is facts that Scott Secor has cleaned those windows before. That's that's amazing. But I know he took took me to it, and we took a yeah. picture with it. But I but know. yes, I, I did get a Frisch's big boy shirt. I actually that's, got that's two. Hilarious! <laughs> <laughs> I promise everyone that's watching that was random as crap. Yep, it was. It was just he did not know between Frisch's Big Boy or and Skyline UDF or UDF milkshakes. Yeah, yeah, uh, I would, I would, I would have loved a UDF shake shirt, yeah. but no, I got a hey, Frisch's Big Boy. Big Boy's <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Wow. All right. Well, now we did that. Are Are you ready for our guest, Kyle Waller? I, I'm ready to bring on Maddie Patty. Let's bring him on. Gosh, old Maddie Patty. So here we <laughs> go. So from Beardanuga. The uh, Chattanooga Beard Competition to the Stars that's coming up September 2nd at White Lightning Harley-Davidson in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Let's just find out everything there is to know about this event and Mr. Matty Patty himself. What's up, sir? How What's up, guys? Matt? Hey, guys. How are you guys? Wonderful. Good. Better now Good. that you're here. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so, glad to be here. Thanks for having uh, me. I, I have one question real quick. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. And, and, and Aaron will probably bring up the picture, but the picture of you uh, on the flyer that Aaron's using, um, yeah. 
you, that's not you. Who is that? <laughs> yeah. That is that from 2000? Is that yeah. 2017, Maddie Patty? It's gotta be. It's gotta be. Yeah. But yeah. Is that two, it, I think 2017, that's, Maddie Patty? Yeah. It's gotta be 2017, Maddie Patty. Look, he's got, he's got the glass. Oh, that's 2017. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Scott really likes to dive deep and like find old yes. pictures. And usually when I make, it does. Things, I just use your current profile picture. Cause I'm like, well, that's what they, they chose as their profile picture. And then uh, <laughs> take it <laughs> <laughs> yeah it happened pretty fast you know sometimes it's like whenever you start getting your big boy hair they mm -hmm. just come in really fast sometimes so how so, how uh, long did it take for your beard to turn this this glorious color from uh, black gosh, or whatever it was before to this it was it was like a ginger it wasn't okay. a full-blooded you know it wasn't like full-blown ginger but it had a lot of ginger in it and uh, i had started out with just a couple streaks of of, of white right here and then within a matter of, uh, gosh, it seemed like a, a year or, or even two, maybe it doesn't, didn't, it had to be less than two years. It it's, just seemed like it wow. just happened. It just happened. It's, yeah. I like it. It's glorious. Kyle Thank Waller you. looks just that. like this the whole time I've ever known him. So I guess he's <laughs> never going to go white. He's just always going to be salt and pepper. I'm always going to be salt and pepper. That's it. I love it. I love it. It's great. It's got so much texture. It looks so good. I like it. All right, Maddie, Patty. Well, uh, let's just let's just get into this. So, tell everybody about you know just real quick who you are and 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 why you are here. Well, my name is Matt Patty, Maddie Patty. Um, I am um, a barber. I cut beards. I do I do beard work. I'm in the beard community. I started Chattanooga Beard Company uh, um, several years back. I uh, kind of got me in, in real deep in the, in the beard community and. Um, now we're here today talking about um, Beard of Nuga. It's a it's a beard competition that we're going to be having some, uh, on Saturday, September the second. So you, you little, brought up a, uh, Chattanooga Beard Company. So that what what brought in in your world the the thought of creating a beard company of your own? Where, where did that thought come from? Okay, so I had uh, as a barber, I had clients that were. That it was right as, as beards were becoming big deal. I'd had one for a few years, but what, you know, what, right when do you start, think that is? What year ish? I, I think it was about eight years ago, honestly. Okay. Mm -hmm. but like when it really hit mainstream, like right before the, the right around Duck Dynasty and you know, right mm -hmm. around that sort of thing. Um, so I had, I just had, I had a lot of clients and I didn't really love anything that I used. I used it, there were some things that I liked. Uh, but I didn't love the smell of anything that I used. Mm -hmm. And so um, because I didn't love the smell of it, I didn't use it often. And because I didn't use it often, it didn't work like it should. Right. So I was like, well, what happens if we put good products and make it smell good? And uh, that's kind of what I did. I took a couple of years and developed the bomb recipe. Uh, it went from being in a, in a can of of like a snus. <laughs> I don't know if you know the snus cans. Mm -hmm. I put my first one in a can of snus. And I put it in my in my pocket to see if it would melt, and and it did. So uh, so you know one thing after another. A couple of years later, um, I had the recipe that we use that's still used for uh, Chattanooga Beard Company. I started in my kitchen, <clears throat> and from that oh, nice. you you use those products at your your barber shop and uh, uh, Chattanooga Beard Company is uh is this isn't the first beard competition that you've you've been part of putting on, is it, or is this your first? go at putting one on right so we've done i've done one before okay. uh, my first uh, yeah we did the beard of nigga one time in 2019 um right just pre-covid we did it in august of 2019 i uh, wanted wanted to make it an annual thing and then of course covid happened and uh i just wanted to wait until I, uh, the smoke had cleared until until mm. we did it again and um you know world beard day coming around i thought it was just a great opportunity to do one I agree. So is this, is this where you think this event will live here at this Harley Davidson or is this just your getting back into it after what, four year absence of beard and And do you have, you looking to make this thing bigger and better each year? Are you, you pretty happy with uh, your Harley Davidson relationship for now? Um, we, we are looking to make it bigger and better okay. each year. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I I'm with the, yeah, it's, yeah, it's uh, Harley Davidson's actually going to be taking all a lot of their motorcycles out. 
And so we're going to have the inside part of the of their dealership. So it's almost nice. going to be like an, an event venue. So they're going to have a tent with all their motorcycles and stuff outside. And inside is where we're going to have the have the uh, the competition. That's well, awesome. I, that that way, in case it does rain by chance, yeah, you'll, you'll be you'll be covered. Yeah, right. that's, that's, that's backwards pretty, from what I would think they would do. Yes. But that's I that's know. cool. They're moving all the bikes out and letting letting the beards come on the inside. That's that's awesome. Kudos, kudos to them. Yeah right. Yeah, they, awesome. they they're they're really been been kind of bending over backwards with us. I mean, not with us. I'm not back. They're they're, they're just good people, you know. Harley <laughs> yeah. Davidson, uh, Harley Davidson. Most of the time, anybody that rides a Harley is just a good person. And the guys over at Harley Davidson, White Lightning and Chattanooga, White Lightning and Harley Davidson, they're just they just do this. They're just doers, you know. They just like yeah, whatever you need, Matt. Let's let's do it. And it was actually their idea because I had it planned for an outside event. And they came to me and were like, "Hey, let's do this inside, and let's let's make it so we don't have to worry about rain, which is one thing I was worried about. The heat, mm-hmm. what I was worried about, so we don't have to worry about any of that. We will have some things outside, but the main the main there thing you go. be inside. So what? So what do you, yeah, go what's going to be what's going to be outside? Like what do you, what do you plan on having outside? So we've got um, a guy named Josh Driver. He's a local artist, uh, music artist. He's going to be going to be singing outside for a couple of hours while we have mm-hmm. registration. Uh, registration starts at ten, so we're going to have him awesome. there for a couple of hours. We're going to have a food truck called Smash Boys. They do smash mm-hmm. burgers. Uh, they're mm-hmm. going to be there, and, and another food truck doing tacos. Uh, there you go. Gonna do, <laughs> right. We're going to have uh, the kettle corn man. The, we, at the Chattanooga market here in Chattanooga, we have a, a, a guy that does kettle corn, and I love popcorn. And this, so I invited I, I invited this guy to come, and he does a great job. He makes great kettle corn. And then we're also going to have this chair that uh, is basically a bunch of torches that have been welded together that shoots out flames from the top. Yes, because like, we, we all know that beards and flames work together fine. <laughs> right, as long as they're behind us, they got to be behind us. <laughs> so, is this chair going to be for like a photo thing? Is that? Yeah. Yeah, it's a photo op. Uh, you there? You can sit in it. Uh, you, it's, That's um, cool. I kind of wish it was dark, cause, but you know, it's gonna be it's gonna be badass anyway. But uh, yeah, it, we I, I was introduced to it at one of our commercials, and I was like, I asked the guy. He was one of my clients. He came in to get a trim. And I was like, Hey, man, you think you could bring that chair? He's like, Dude, absolutely. So uh, he's gonna. This chair is just just awesome. So are, are we talking like Games of Thrones esque type chair? All right. Yeah, oh, that's what I, yeah. that's what I envisioned. It, as well. yes, yeah, that's, that's, I think there's a picture of me on my Instagram sitting in it, and uh, it's uh, that's it's, awesome. It's insanely cool. I love it. <laughs> that's <laughs> sweet. So, yeah. are you going to have uh, an official photographer at this event to snap some pictures of us in this this cool chair? Or is this going to be like something we're going to have to get someone to take a picture of us with? I think we're going to have to get someone to take a picture with okay. us. Um, uh, we are working on a few last minute things, and that's one of them. Um, so, um, yeah, hopefully we'll have a, we'll have an official photographer, the um, flame of thrones. The flame of, yeah. The, love the, it. The flame of thrones is going to be there. It's awesome. The flame of thrones is so cool. You guys are going to love it. What's up, Jared? What's up, Jared? Well, you know, the, the beautiful thing about the bearding community is that there will be no shortage of photos taken at this event. So you really don't have to worry about a photographer because I'm sure somebody will be. Right. Oh yeah, for sure. It's gonna happen, <clears throat> but it, it but, is always nice to have that official yeah, headshot photographer when when you can. But if not, yeah. we got you. We'll cell phone cameras are amazing these days. <laughs> yeah. I, I I will guarantee this year two we'll have a have an official photographer for for sure. And when I say when I say year, year three next year we'll have an official uh, photographer for sure. And we'll, we'll do headshots and have a backdrop. And we'll, yeah. we're, we're gonna like we really want to just start. Like this being the, the start of what we're going to be doing. Mm-hmm. Well, this is this you know, this your, 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 we're back year. So you're just knocking the cobwebs off and, and dust the knocking the dust off and all that good stuff. And we'll, we'll get through this event and it'll be a lot of good fun for sure. I, 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 agree. I have a feeling a, a lot of tears will be shed over um, Harley's not being able to be bought because, you know, some of our wives won't let That's, us buy Harley's. Right. <laughs> I was going to say, well, that's what the tent's for, but I see where you were going now. They're still going to be there for sale. They will be there. You won't be there, but they will be. Wow. Thanks thanks for bringing that up. I I wasn't going to drop that ball, but I I won't won't be there. Unfortunately, I will not be able to attend. So, so Maddie Patty, whose whose idea was this? Was it was it y'all or was this uh, Harley Davidson to throw this event on World Beard Day at, at the Harley Davidson dealer? 
uh, it was mine. I was, I was in the barber shop and um, just cutting hair one day. And I, I kind of realized that September 2nd was on a Saturday. And uh, I was like, dude, that'd be a great time to bring beer to Nuga back. Right, you know, it just kind of hit me, and I was like, okay. And then one thing, you know, uh, one of the guys at Harley is a, is one of my clients and, and a friend. I called him. And I said, hey, September second, can we can we do it at Harley Davidson? He said, yep, let's do it. And it was awesome. kind of that easy. <laughs> I, so yeah, I mean, that, that's good having friends and uh, that's pretty those awesome. Positions. Yeah. So you've been uh, now have have you been playing this all on your own, or have you had people helping you out? Absolutely not. So I joined up with the Chattanooga Bearded Villains a couple months back, right. and, and uh, we've joined the forces, and uh, they're just awesome. They're just a great, a great group of, group of guys who just yeah. go and beyond, and 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 just so and help out in so many ways. And so I definitely could not do any of this without their help. And nice. So uh, just being a part of them has been great. Yeah. yeah, they're they're a good group of awesome. guys for sure. I've never worked specifically with that group, but I've I've worked with a bunch of villain groups, and I've you know I've ran into some of the Chattanooga guys, especially when we were there. What well, for that that bacon and beard contest that was in uh, was it Cleveland, right north of Chattanooga, not too long ago, and there were some of those guys there. So I'm excited you're with them, and uh, see excited to see what what all y'all are going to do together for sure. Yeah, I'm excited to be with them. It uh, seems to be a good group of guys. It's just charity driven, you know. They got a good heart, and mm-hmm. they it's a good brotherhood. I've never been a part of something like that, and I'm I'm really excited to be a part of it. I tell you, any, any time that you can get a a group of people around doing good stuff, that's that's what matters. And yep, yeah, the Brit the British villains, they're those guys. They they are heavy on doing good stuff in the community. So, <clears throat> uh, my question is, since since you're a barber, you've seen all different types of facial hair. What's your favorite? Mm, you better, no. you better, you better say goatee. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My, my favorite just to, to look at or to yeah, appreciate. Or, man, or just a, to, you know, yeah, just to appreciate. I, I tell or you, just, my, just my, to work with. Oh man. Uh, tip, there's uh, every beard is like a thumbprint, you know, there's, they're, <laughs> they're, they're so different. Every one of them is different. Um, my my beard's probably the easiest type of beard, honestly. Mm-hmm. If I didn't have a beard that just kind of hung there, and I just trimmed the side from time to time, I wouldn't have a beard, uh, you know, like I do. Because some guys have to come and see me every three or four weeks just to get it shaped up. Yeah. But uh, you know, it's probably you know gingers have a, are really easy to work with a lot of the time. Mm-hmm. Um, darker beards are not very easy to work with a lot. <laughs> a lot of times they have a lot of a lot of. Um, um, calyx and stuff and a lot of swirls a lot of stuff meets right here around here in this area around the mandible area why do you think uh, that is a, oh man it's genetics it's just genetics it all you, genetics. you brought up the color and i know doing that so i didn't know if there you had <sighs> ran into noticeably that that was it was like a color thing that was making nah. those waves or well yeah true I mean, it's like you think uh, gingers where gingers typically from you know you think um Scottish, you know, Irish, all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. You think where a, where a dark beard's typically from? You think, um, you know, Egyptian. You think, yeah, you think any 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 line. You go back way back wherever your wherever your ancestors are from. You know, so you got to throw that into into your mix of your beard because that's that's where your beard comes from. You know, mm-hmm. it's just your an, your ancestors are right there, and so the color has has a lot to do with it, uh, just because of of the ancestry. No, that makes um, sense. I would have well, never even thought about that. But that's, well, one of our one of our illustrious viewers, uh, Brad Felipe Petronik, <laughs> says uh, mustaches are obviously the best to work with. He he has he has a, a killer mustache, um, so I I get where he's coming from, but I, I would not say that. No, <laughs> I like working with the mustaches because I, I can I can I make mustaches really easy for guys to to have long. Mm-hmm. And still be able to eat by doing you know kind of undercut and stuff like here and mm-hmm. gotten you know it's a lot of guys just don't know that they can have what they what they can actually have because they've tried to DIY their beard at home for so yeah. long. Yeah, so that's a good question. How many how many times have you told the guy, uh, no, I'm not shaving it off. I'm not doing anything. We're gonna just let it. You're gonna let it go. Like how many times has that been brought up? Like how many times has a guy came to your store when a complete chop off? Oh. Uh, he doesn't really come to my store for that. Good, good. Don't, go, <laughs> go to the sports clips. Not, need, yeah. need not apply at your yes. barber. Good. Yeah, if you want to, if you want to shave your beard off, go to sports clips. 
I agree. It's like do it at home, watch a video. You can't. You know, uh, it's no. I've I've taken plenty of people down to go tees and and stuff uh, like that. You know that. And and, and I, I will absolutely do it, especially if I mean I don't I don't ever really uh, promote it. But if they, uh, a lot of guys will have to do a fit test. You know, for their for the respirators yeah. and yep. that that that'll, that'll take a beard and a heartbeat. You know, I know. They'll come in. They'll, they'll come in and they'll sit down and they're like, Ugh. You know, it's like, what's wrong? It's like, I got to do a fit test. Take it off. <laughs> like, oh, man. Oh, so you no. take it all the way yeah. off or you try to do like some sort of crazy shave around yeah. so they can still do the, the mask or you just go all the way down? I've I've done both. Uh, okay. Some guys come back and, and they're like, go ahead and shave it the rest of the way off. That was kind of crazy, you know. But, <laughs> you know, it's like it, but I, I can get through. I can get their mustache really tight. It, it all depends on what they, you know, mm-hmm. what, where they're they're the thickest at because if they're if they're i'm really thin on my sides and so uh, uh-huh. for me i wouldn't have to take my sides very tight but my mustache is really thick so it's just i've had to take it different ways and even then you know maybe it works maybe it doesn't it sucks to have to go we have to get that test and then come back and redo it so uh-huh. why not just take it take it down and get it done and be done with it well if, if there's one piece of advice i could give you real quick is if somebody comes in and asks for chops uh, just tell them send, no. Yeah, tell them no. Send them, we send need them to away. go ahead and make some sort of sign yes. for, for your no shop, chops. Like. No chops allowed. Yeah, yeah. I like you know. Dude, that's You're that's like the quickest. Way, that's like the quickest way to a double chin. I tell you. Yes. <laughs> yes. See, then you know. Sorry, guys. Yeah. No. All right. Let's get back on track for this beer. <laughs> let's do it. All right. Yes. So you brought it up momentarily earlier. Uh, Charity is still going to be part of this event there uh, at Beard and Nuga. Who who are y'all working with this year? All right. So this is a really special one. Okay. So um, we're working with uh, Epilepsy Foundation is the foundation that's going to be there. Okay. Um, wow. I person I personally have been on a health journey lately, uh, and I've kind of I, ha- I have a nutritionist that I've been working with. Well. They have had they had a child back in March, I believe, and she had like the worst form of epilepsy. It was called EIEE. And yeah. um, back whenever we were getting this together, uh, she was in the hospital like from from the moment she was born. Uh, back when I was getting this together, uh, she was still alive. She's since passed away. So um, all this money that we raised for for the for this event is going to go directly to the family. There you go. Uh, we, we we have kept we have yeah. kept our operational cost at a very minimal, uh, mm-hmm. and so ninety oh gosh about ninety eight percent of everything that we've raised so far is going to be able to go directly back to the family. Very cool. That's man. awesome. Good job, yeah. Good job yeah. Matt. I like it. So well, yeah. while while we're on the subject of that, let's talk categories because everybody wants to know what categories are they're going to be. Cool. So we've got seven. Um, we've got. One to four inches, four to mm-hmm. eight inches, eight to twelve inches, twelve inches and greater. That's four. We've mm-hmm. got a partial. We've mm-hmm. got a mustache, mm-hmm. and we've got free freestyle. All right, uh-huh. so that's the seven. That's seven uh, categories. That's You're seven, seven categories. but 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 everybody uh, wants to know uh, <laughs> what what happened to Whiskerinas. So are we going to add a Whiskerinas category in? I think we should. Let's do an eight. Let's do eight. There you go. Eight Eight categories. Eight Eight categories. It's going to be eight categories. They're adding a Whiskerina category. Congratulations, you guys. We are doing it. Yeah, yes. she was mad. We can't have her mad at us. No, so you let's have she's, Natalie. She's, mad. Yes. she's number no. one in the world. You can't have her yes. tell that. That's right. Number one in the world. So yes, let's let's make sure that that all that, that everybody right now that's listening to this, make sure you tell your ladies, make sure you tell your lady friends to get down to Chattanooga and 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 join the Whiskerinas. Absolutely, and, so, and we'll, please. we'll bring a, a handful of little mustaches or something uh, with us. So you know, if people didn't know, they they can they can throw one on and still compete and give money to charity and and all that good stuff. But we'll uh, even even if there's a guy that shows up that doesn't have a beard that feels like he should compete, we'll throw him into the whiskerina category. Just well, for we the fun of you it. won't, Kyle Wallace. No, I won't. Be but there. but you will. I will. <laughs> we isn't me and Natalie. Yes, yes. you're speaking for Natalie. That's correct. I am. <laughs> but yeah, I think that'd be pretty cool. And and there you go. Scott Hitchcock already says, Yay, Whiskerinas. Yes. So that'll that'll be pretty cool. Hey man, you you, you learned. It'll be fine. <laughs> you know, next year just don't don't do that again. <laughs> <laughs> don't uh. I'll I'll Sorry. sit Natalie on you. I've got your address. I'll I'll <laughs> your way. She'll go punch holes in your walls. 
so okay. <laughs> so all your uh, all, all your categories. So all your full beard categories are going to encompass all shapes and sizes of full beards. Mm-hmm. Mustaches are going to be the same. So it's not going to be divided up into different categories. That that way everybody knows. Is that correct? Correct. We're not doing a, a natural and, uh, and, gotcha. a, and a groomed. We're just doing um, gotcha. the, the the length this time this year. Awesome. It, it it makes it simpler, really, to be honest. Hey, you know, maybe you're a nuga five. There you go. Let's, let's break them all we'll, up. Who we'll knows? make it happen. That's right. And oh. ninety two categories by the time we get there. And, and it'll be hosted at the Ten New Lookouts Ball Field. There Ooh, they're getting they're, they're getting a new one. Really? Huh. Where's it going to be? Go. Uh, it's going to be, you know, if you're, if you're coming into Chattanooga from Nashville, mm-hmm. right at the bend, right as you're coming in, right around the Moccasin Bend area, yeah. mm-hmm. uh, right there's a foundry. Right as you're coming in to the right hand side, uh, there's a foundry, an old foundry. Okay. It's going to be right at, right in that area. It's going to be going to nice. get rid of all that and then put a stadium there. I think they're going to use a lot of it. They're going to get right. rid of some of it, but they're going to use yeah. some of the structure with the stadium. Very that's good. cool. That's, that's all cool looking over there. So then they're just going to get rid of the stadium that's downtown, I, I suppose, huh? Oh, I'm sure they've got plans for that. I'm sure there's going to be some <laughs> nice condos go up there. Or oh, something. for sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah there's a baseball stadium here. We Heck can no. have nope. extremely expensive apartments in these places. We need to get this stadium yep. out of here. And, and nobody will be able to afford them, so they'll sit empty for – Years upon years. I, hey, I man, there's, oh, oh, there's oh, host no. money in Chattanooga. <laughs> yeah, we, we've got California has come to, Ch- to to Tennessee. Oh, so many people have come to Tennessee from California. Uh, really, even and, Chattanooga, and, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Chattanooga. Yeah, they they brought their horns with them. I tell you, they're going to you know just slow down a little bit. If 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 you're here watching in Chattanooga and you're from California, <laughs> just slow down. <laughs> <laughs> just just. Chill out. Well, you're not chill gonna- out. So, okay. s- slow down, especially on Saturday. Take a detour to White Lightning Holly Davidson, and go to a great beard competition. And, and go get stuck it. in traffic on I. Yes, do it. Yes, stuck. but <laughs> let's let's talk judges. Can we talk judges now? Is that is that possible? I think. I think yeah, we could do huh? that. What, what huh? do you think, Matty Patty? Let's do it. All right. Uh, we've got six judges this time. I, I like uh-huh. I like having a lot of judges. I don't know why. I think it's uh, I think it's nice to have a good variety. I've got I've got se- I've <laughs> several judges who've been in the hair industry for, <coughs> for twenty plus years. Um, one I know has been in the hair industry for twenty years. Uh, she happens to be my wife. And, she, and she's awesome. And she she hears about beards all the time. And so we've got some <laughs> we've got some great people. Uh, do you want to put the pictures? Do you want me to just say? Hey, man, you spit out their names, and we'll we'll cool. go. Like that. We'll go with we'll start with my wife. We'll start with Shannon and Patty. Uh, look at that. I actually have a tattoo of just like that on, of that on my arm. Um, <laughs> um, she is a twenty year. She's been doing this gosh for twenty years. She is a now a cosmetology instructor. Um, at a, at a school in town, and uh, she owns Chattanooga Hair Company, and also co-founded uh, Chattanooga Beard Company with me um, many years ago. Uh, she also, she's been in the beard world for a long time, and here's and here's everything I say about the beards, and probably is as sick of me talking about beards. But either way, she she, <laughs> she knows she knows she knows what she talks. You know, she knows uh, she knows hair, and she knows style. There you go. And uh, she's going to do a great job. Awesome. All right, next next we've got let's see, Angel Angel Kachinko. Is she in there? Uh yeah. let's see. She is a uh she's a barber in my shop. She's a barber at uh, uh, Chapel Barber and Beard Supply. Uh she is booked all the time. She is one of the best in the business. Um she absolutely will make women I mean she uh, wives have called me and said Tell Angel thank you for making him look so good. They literally have <laughs> called me and said that. They've stopped me at the market before and said, Hey, man, Angel, right? I'm like, Yeah, Angel. And they're like, Tell her thank you for making my husband look so good. She really knows what nice. she's talking about. So she's going to do a great job. Let's see, uh, Andy Soro- uh, Santora. She's with WDEF. Uh, uh, she's a channel 12. She's a, she's a news anchor here. She's uh, on a, with different, with some other channels as well. Does some different work. She does a lot of good work in the, in the media. Man, you got a big she's local celebrity judging your, yeah, right. That. right. We don't, yeah, she doesn't even have a beard. She's going to be doing good though. So we're going to be, we're going to teach her. I'll, I'll probably, this is probably going to be our first one. So we're going to teach her all about, uh, well, you know, all about a beard competition. Yeah. Let's see. Yes, we, we, we've got Amanda King. Uh, she's the owner of, uh, 
and it's now called uh, King Cave Beard and Shears. It's, it's in Fort Oglethorpe, Georgia. She's been uh, a, a good friend of mine for years. Uh, yeah, professionally, you know, professionally, we've had. Um, she's a great. She's a great barber. Got a great shop. Uh, does a good job. She was a judge with me at one of the, one of the bearded villains uh, judges judging uh, one of the bearded villains Chattanooga bearded villains one year event. Gotcha. She judged, we judged together and she did a great job there. Uh, let's nice. see, uh, Lance Adams is going to be there. He's out of Knox, a comedian out of Knoxville. Uh, he's been in the beer community for a long time. He was our MC last year, or the last time that we did this. Um, he's just a great dude. He's a fun guy. He, he just does whatever he can do. And, and our messages back and forth just does whatever he can do to help out. And it, just, it seems like he's just a great, great guy and knows what he's talking about. He was actually part of the first, the first beer competition I was ever, ever a part of. Mm. He was a judge at that one. So he definitely knows what he's what he's doing, and of course we've got Aaron Johnson. Uh, he's uh, there. He is. Never heard of him. Guy. Never heard of him. Nope. And it seems like he may know a thing or two uh, about beards. Uh, he's got the number two ranked beard uh, goatee in the world. Uh, so uh, he is absolutely a celebrity beard guy right now. He is insanely. He's he's got it. He, like he takes the Aaron. Seriously, you're you're taking the beard community to another level. And, well, thank uh, you very much. Uh, that, you know, that we sit here, we sit here and watch, we sit here and watch it, and I, I watch it all through my Facebook a lot, and I just see all the all the publicity, and you just you just do good things with it, man. I'm proud. To, I'm proud. I'm proud you come down to be a judge. Hey, man, I'm just, I'm happy to help out your event, and I'm I'm thrilled to being able to do what I do to help out the beard community. So it's it's all yeah. just all yeah. Great great out. judge lineup. Great lineup. Awesome, but by the way, Thank some you. people were confused. Some people thought that was Scott Sakura when he showed Lance. And I just oh, want yeah, to reassure. Huh? Look at yeah. that. Scott Sakura. I just, I just want to reassure everybody that's not Scott Sakura, all right? Yeah, that's <laughs> not Scott Sakura. Yes. This is Scott Sakura. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Scott Sakura. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Man. god. Stuff. Yeah. All right, Patty. Patty, well, who are you going to have MC in this event and keeping yes. keeping everybody in line all night? Cool. So we've got um, our our biggest, best best uh, radio station in town, US one hundred and one, the country station. Uh, they have their radio sh- their afternoon sh- drive show is the Mo and Stick Man. We have Stick Man from the Mo and Stick Man show. There he is. Stick Man. Um, he, yeah, he is just he did uh, he did our last one with the with the bearded villains and did a did a great job. Uh, he's got great dad jokes. He does you know he does good stuff. Um, he keeps it he keeps it rolling pretty good. But uh, their their show their their they they do the afternoon drive at US one hundred and one in Chattanooga nice. and they just do a great job. He's been in, he's been at US one hundred and one for many many years, and he started mm-hmm. out as like the as like the the, the evening guy and, and kind of worked his way into the afternoon to the afternoon drive. And gosh, that guy's just cracks me up all the time. And so he's just donating his time, and uh, so thankful for that. So thanks so much, Stick yeah, Man. That's awesome that you got such <laughs> a. a, a a well-spoken MC, because you know, obviously, if he's a a morning <laughs> DJ guy, he's got to be pretty well. So you know, every, everybody really wants to know. You know, they're all going down there to help raise money for charity, but they also want to win something. Do, do you have trophies available? And what do, what do they look like? Um, I don't have any pictures of them, but we have uh, te- we have teamed up with uh, the knife shop uh, right. here in, in Chattanooga, uh, and uh, we have. Some rather cool things that they have uh, graciously donated to us. Uh, last time we did Beard and Nuga, we have some we had some great big um, uh, machetes and axes, and so uh, these will we these shouldn't disappoint either. Uh, and <laughs> for and, and for I've seen them, they shouldn't disappoint. Unless and you and fly, for, then then you'll be disappointed. You have to get yeah. that shit back home. Yeah, you just have to give it to me, and then I'll hang yeah. on to it. Yeah, right. And then for the uh, best in show. We have a uh, uh, beautiful Damascus axe. Mm. So, uh, mm-hmm. is it from that same, gonna, same place? Yeah, it's, it's going to be. In, yeah, it's, it's going to be engraved. Uh, same place is from the knife shop. Uh, Jay Haggard at the knife shop. And he's got a great big beard too. Um, it's just always anything that I've ever asked him for, or even sometimes I didn't ask him for it. He's just asking me if I needed something. Uh, there's been several times I went in there to buy something, and he's taking it out of my hands and and giving it to me. Uh, but he's um, he's just always super gracious, and uh, and this time he did the same thing, and uh, we're grateful for that. Hey, so, don't yeah, forget to see nice. him up and tell him you added a category tonight. Yes, yep, you will. Ah. 
Whoa, you make it so tough. <laughs> <laughs> he, probably, he probably already did. Let's put it that way. He has him on the horn right now. <laughs> He's watching. I have, to get, I have to get him in the morning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or, or he could be watching. You never know. The the, the question is, is is he going to be there and, and will he compete? Ooh. Good Ooh. Good question, Here's Scott good Turner. Question. Maddie Patty, yeah. you coming to Nashville the following weekend yeah. from Scott okay, here, Turner. Scott, here's here's my dilemma. Okay. Oh, no. I cut hair, okay? That's that's where Saturday is is a big day for me at, at the barbershop. And you've, and you've I, already and I, and, and, and I miss Saturday one with yeah. yeah, with Beard and Nuga. That's my dilemma. Um you could close early. Oh, what time Isn't does that it start? Funny? Cal Waller. No, it's it does I mean it, like does it what time does it start? Do you know? Five. <sighs> Scott Turner, what time is your official yeah. start time? I will look up the event, but I think it's probably <laughs> like five, six, six. Probably. I mean, uh, like how long is the drive from Chattanooga to Nashville? Like three? About it's about two, two and a half hours. Yeah, well, it's all, it's all, yeah. it's on the Opry Mill side, so it's on yep. the all the way to the other side of Nashville. It will, it, it will be. Mm. Uh, so it has it listed on the event page as four thirty Eastern, and Scott Turner just replied five, 5 p.m. So you could get there you if you close early, like one or two o'clock. Yeah. We'll see. Then you get the time change to help you get in there. Yep, you do. Nashville's in Central. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to make that happen. <laughs> hey. I'm gonna try to make that happen. Reach out to me and let me know if you're making it, and I'll uh, I'll see if I can help you out any. So, and, and we will and we will reschedule all your appointments. Just let us know who you're. Uh, Kyle who you Waller cut that day. Kyle yes. Waller will just show up and cut all your appointments for you. Yeah. So then I, I, be good to as go. a matter of fact, they'll have the best beard trims ever. <laughs> I won't even I, I won't even touch a pair of shears, but they'll walk out looking great. Because they'll have Chattanooga Beard Co. in, in their beards. Wow, look Ooh, at that. You should be a salesman, Kyle Waller. <laughs> look at you. Look at that. <laughs> shameless. Shameless plugging. I love it. Well, man, I, mean, I, I, I think that, that pretty well wraps this up, If unless you got something else to, to add to entice people to come to your event. And it's just going to be a good time. You know, we, we just really want to create a good vibe and an easy vibe for, for people who just, who you don't have to have a great big beard. You can be a spectator and have a good time. You can have a smaller beard. That's why we have different categories. That's why we have whiskerinas. You know, anybody can come out and have a good time. This is all, beard, go. beard competitions are always about fun and just enjoyment and having a good building community and camaraderie. And it's, it's also a great time to raise money for a great family. So uh, we really, yes. really do hope you, hope you guys come out and enjoy it. We really hope. I think we've got some stuff that you guys can enjoy. We've got some great people, some great judges. And, and uh, it, should be, it cool. should be a great time. Yeah. Chattanooga is super cool, yeah. man. It's like you can't go wrong. Chattanooga is super convenient to everything. And I got I got one one quick question. What time does the event start and what time are the doors? Mm. So the the registration for the competition begins at 10 o'clock in the morning. It's a morning event. Um and then registration will begin at, I'm sorry, a competition will begin at 12. Right. Uh, the Harley Davidson shop opens at nine. Uh, right. We're going to be there kind of setting up around, around that time. But uh, registration does begin at 10. Sweet. So for All people right. who, so for people who might be going in early on Friday, what, what is there to do Friday night? You know, like so I, I'm assuming you're not having a pre-party. Is that correct? You're not going to have any type of pre-party. So what, what should they are. what should people do? What should people do on Friday night b- before the beard competition to to get the excitement mm. ready? There's so many good things around here. It depends on uh, uh, kind of what feel you want. There's a there's a what? place called Weston Bar. It's they've got a place called Whiskey. I think it's Whiskey Thief. It's it's a, got a bar that overlooks um, the 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 river and the mountains. It's got it's, you can right. see a beautiful a beautiful view. Um, there's a place called Buds. It's like a sports bar. That's where a lot of people go to. It's just you know, it's just a sports bar. You'll have a good time. It's just a sports bar. We'll be hanging um, out at Dave nice. Buster's probably. Dave there you Buster's? go. Oh, nice. Our hotel so right to come there Oh, perfect. Yeah, it'd be a great time. But uh, this, this that downtown's got you know a couple. Uh, the b- pedestrian bridge is a great place to go see some stuff. Just down, yes. you know, downtown's got some cool stuff. Uh, there's just Chattanooga's just a good, beautiful city, and um, yeah, there's, there's tons of stuff to do around here. 
Yeah. Just uh, go. There you go. I always forget yeah. stuff. Go to Chattanooga and uh, go hug a Christmas tree cake in Little Debbie <laughs> Park, and then go to Beardanooga on Saturday. And there you Steve go. Rock City, the end. I just planned your your Chattanooga Boom. adventure. <laughs> the weekend's done for those of you going to Chattanooga. All right, ma'am. Well, Maddie, we'll see you in a couple days. Yeah, just a few days yeah. to Beardanooga. So yeah, we'll we'll see you soon, my friend. Thanks so much for having me, guys. Thanks so much. No problem, I'll see you Matt. Bye bye. Thanks. All right, everybody. So that's that's it coming up this weekend, September second, twenty twenty three, in Chattanooga, Tennessee, at White Lightning Harley Davidson Beard Anuga Two, and be on the lookout for Beard Anuga Three from uh, you know the top of the mountains inside the park. Inside five, Little Debbie five, Park, five we're taking over the whole stadium, so it's yep. it's going to rapidly increase. So this is this is the if you want to make it to <laughs> Beardanuga and get a front front row seat, this is your only opportunity because from here on out, I don't even know if you can even make it into it, the venue. It's going to be so nope. <laughs> <laughs> so so we brought uh. this up a little bit earlier that it's going to be on World Beard Day. Yeah, so, uh, imagine uh, that. World Beard Day. Perfect day for a beard competition. But do we have any World Beard Day facts, Kyle Waller? So, I mean, yeah, yeah, there's a couple out there. So, you know, we were talking about this earlier before the show began about how the origin of World Beard Day started. And really, um, as far back as they could see was that it was started by um, the Vikings back in like before 800 AD. Now, an interesting thing that would happen um, if I can find it again, you got this. Uh, oh, come on! Over in Den, over in Sweden, uh-huh. Denmark, or I'm sorry, Spain, shall I say? Um, they would have a boxing match. Countries. That so interesting beard mm-hmm. fact. They would have a boxing match between a bearded guy and a non-bearded guy, and you know, of course, uh, by their standards, the beard the bearded guy will always win. So as he should. Yes. Yeah. And uh. You know, so yeah, so then, and then they also had a, a um like cricket or some type of sports match between uh, the beards and the non bearded, um, and then the uh, the losing team, ha- you know, whoever it was, they had to. Uh, it was all kids. The losing team was always kids. So it was always bearded men versus children. I don't know why they <laughs> and and they they put they put the non bearded guys in with the kids. Unfortunately. You know, um, but the referees and the umpires were always bearded, so you always knew who won. It was always going to be the bearded guys, no matter what. So I mean, it doesn't sound rigged at all. No, no, not at all. Mm-mm. And and then they give some they give some interesting things to do on on World Beard Day, such as I mean, number one, go attend a beard competition. There you go. Number uh, one, uh, first things yes. first. There's I mean, three or four I, of them. I'll at least know three or four during that daytime. That's right, um, and. One, you know, Chattanooga, then one which is up in Youngstown, Ohio. Um, so, so yeah, if you're around on World Beard Day and you have nothing to do better than eat hot dogs and build a bonfire, go, go attend a beard competition. Perfect. So, good job, Kyle Waller. That was some yeah. good advertising for World Beard Day. So I, I tried my best. Build a fire, eat some hot dogs, have a beard. Yes. Boom. And go to a beard competition. All, do, all do, do good stuff. There you That's go. all you got to worry about. Yeah. Well, I uh, appreciate you coming by, Kyle Waller. Oh, man. Yeah, Thanks thank for having you. me on. I appreciate it. Shape 2017 podcast. category. I wish I would have just put your shape, the podcast, on here, I but know. I forgot. But there, there's your logos yeah, over there. Yes. 2017 Kyle Waller yep. and uh, Shape <laughs> Podcast. So, uh, yep. everybody, go go check out Beard Anuga this weekend. Next weekend, we have Do Music it. City Moonshine Classic in Nashville. Uh, Nationals is coming up November 4th. Fourth, uh, make sure you book your hotel today. If uh, if you're wanting to get that that discount rate at the uh, national website, today is pretty much the last day. So there you go. Get, tomorrow get registered. Actually is but today today is the the day you want to do it. Get registered. Absolutely. Yes. Um, there's more people registered at this at this point in time in nationals than there ever has before at this point in time in, in nationals in wow. national history. There's that's, that's, that's more awesome. Three registered right now than ever before. So 
I think that's pretty good. So everybody yeah. come, come to Daytona, man. It's going to be a blast. Uh, Friday night, we, we've got four different attempts at the Guinness Book of World Records and three of them, I promise we will set for <laughs> sure. I think we'll get all four. 99.9% sure we get all four. Friday night, we'll be on the roof of Joe's Crab Shack. Yes. Four uh, attempts will be the craft beard chain. There'll be a mustache <laughs> chain, and there'll be a partial beard chain, and then the grand finale will be uh, the full beard chain that the partials can attach themselves to. So There you uh, go. So, yeah. So, I think you have to have at least six inches of mustache hair. You have to have eight inches of facial hair and uh, 12 inches of craft beard. So, well, I, I just can't wait to just see it unfold. And I'm, it's, I'm especially interested about the craft beard. Yeah, that, man. I think that's going to be awesome. It's going to be amazing. And Whiskerina is just keep that in mind. May, maybe make two beards for yeah. nationals. Maybe make your Saturday beard and a Friday beard and make sure that go. Friday beard is as long as possible. It can be realistic or creative as far as uh, everything I understood. So that nice. Like, could be incorrect information. I'm pretty sure <laughs> one foot craft beard and it could be realistic or creative, but you got to think about people are attaching to it. Yes. Yep. In so, mind so, while you're so make sure it's movable. That's there all. That's make all sure we got to say. Movable. Or if it's creative, yep. it's sticking out. Yep. Not down, but anyway, rules of thumb. Rules of thumb. So I'm sure we'll talk about that a bunch. And uh, I think we'll have a uh, Brian Nelson coming up on the show. If not next week, it'll be the week after. I can't remember. I, I wrote it down somewhere. Anyway, we'll have Brian <laughs> Nelson on to talk about nationals yes. and all that good stuff and, and the triumphant return of Scott Sakura so he can tell us all about the Earth Wind and yes. concert. And I, I, I want to hear I want to hear about him being a uh, fire. I definitely yeah, I can't about wait. That. Yeah, yeah, I'm it's gonna be I'm fantastic. Sure he, you know, he'll he'll <laughs> definitely know that he was fire for sure. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm Aaron D. Johnston. Thank you, everybody, for watching and uh, yeah, tuning in Talking Beards. We we yeah. appreciate you, and thank you for watching our show and, and all that good stuff. Go ahead, Kyle. Uh, I'm Kyle Waller. You can find me on Facebook, Kyle Waller. Um, again, you can find my podcast on Facebook, Shape the Podcast. Um, just look for that logo or the one that's on top of my hat. There you go. Right there. And uh, we'll see you later. That's it. Short and sweet. Everybody, check out the beard calendar. and everything that's on there and uh yeah that's it everybody have a great night goodbye oh, goodbye thanks for tuning in to talking beards make sure you go over to honestamish.com and use promo code talking beards to get 15 percent off your order don't forget to tune in live next tuesday at 8 p.m eastern at talkingbeards.com <laughs>